Greetings friends and welcome to this Wednesday's online healing service. As we begin, we read from Matthew chapter 16 verses 13 to 19. Now when Jesus came into the district of Caesarea Philippi, he asked his disciples, Who do people say that the Son of Man is? They said, Some say John the Baptist, others Elijah, and still others Jeremiah or one of the prophets. He said to them, But who do you say that I am? Simon Peter answered, You are the Messiah, the Son of the living God. And Jesus answered him, Blessed are you, Simon, son of Jonah, for flesh and blood has not revealed this to you, but my Father in heaven. And I tell you, you are Peter, and on this rock I will build my church, and the gates of Hades will not prevail against it. I will give you the keys of the kingdom of heaven, and whatever you bind on earth will be bound in heaven, and whatever you loose on earth will be loosed in heaven. Greetings, friends. For this online service, invariably we will be using readings that are set in the lectionary for the particular Wednesday in question. Today's reading, which is the Gospel reading set for the feast day of the Confession of St. Peter, appears at first glance not to pertain to the subject of healing. It begins with questions around Jesus' identity. And in their response, the disciples indicate some of the messianic hopes of their age. Peter's response, and the praise which he garners from Jesus as a result, are thought to reflect the, the context of the early church. Jesus' declaration speaks to issues of apostolic succession, the sacrament of confession and absolution, and even perhaps excommunication. What then does this have to do with healing? Well, I thought it might be helpful to consider the issue of forgiveness. As we consider more broadly our own health, healing and wholeness in body, mind and spirit. How many of us then are harboring unforgiveness, perhaps even without realizing it? Now, I'm obviously not a medical doctor, but I have read that when we have unresolved psychological or emotional issues, the brain can cause us to feel pain in other parts of our bodies. And I thought this might be something like a psychosomatic phenomenon. However, I read that the correct term for this is psychogenic pain. Now, whenever a wrong has been committed against us, when we have experienced perhaps an injustice of some kind, or even when we ourselves have acted in a way which we later have deeply regretted, our forgiveness brings closure to such events. Without forgiveness, these events and their memories are like open wounds which eventually fester, or they may disappear into our subconscious and later become malignant emotional cysts which cause further problems and issues down the line. And so then, as we continue to contemplate our own healing, and in the context of this service, I invite you to make yourself vulnerable. Now, in this time and in this space, to offer yourself before God. Let us begin by quieting our minds for a few moments, if necessary, take deep regular breaths and as difficult and as daunting as it may be let us call to mind any issue or event which we feel might require our forgiveness offer forgiveness to those who have wronged you offer forgiveness to yourself if you have wronged others
Remember Jesus' words, Whatever you bind on earth is bound in heaven. Whatever you loose on earth is loosed in heaven. Unbind, let go. Loose that which you are holding on to and give it to God. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen.